In this video, I'm going to show a technique which allows a tutor to set up a welcome message that goes out to learners when they're enrolled on a course, and it doesn't matter which method they are enrolled by. Now, at the moment, there are things where if somebody self enrolls, they can get an email saying welcome to the course, but it doesn't, it only works on certain enrollment types. So, what this does is it will work with any enrollment type, and it also creates a one-to-one -one mechanism to allow a conversation to take place between the tutor and the student. Now to do this we're going to use an activity called the Dialogue. So you need to go onto the Moodle plugins page and it's a module called Dialogue and it's got this orange icon here. So you'll need to get that installed on your Moodle first and then once you've got it installed we can then add an item as an activity and if I just quickly go into the settings, you can give a brief description as you'd expect, give it a title, you can specify the maximum attachment size and the number of attachments. If you are using groups within your course, you can tick the box to use course groups. And then the other settings are relatively straightforward. I'm changing the completion tracking so it doesn't indicate activity completion because they don't need to use it if they don't want to. So I've set up the basic mechanism but what I need to do is I want to change the permission slightly because in this case I want this to be a communication tool between tutor and student but I don't want students to use it to talk to each other because the conversations could take place that might be inappropriate and it might take up lots of space and that sort of stuff. So I'm going to change it so that students can't start a conversation. The only people that can start the conversation are the tutors. So to do that, I go into the permissions and then we choose student. And there are three that I'm going to change. So I've changed the option to close the conversation. I'm preventing that for students. The close any, now it shouldn't really um, take effect here, but I'm just belts and braces, so I'm preventing that. And then I'm preventing the ability to open a conversation. That's the key one in this case here. So once you've set your permissions, as I've done there, you would then save changes. Now I'm just going to quickly come in as a student. So here's my student screen. So when the student comes in, and they click on the item, you'll notice that they don't have the ability here to create a conversation, they're missing that button. Whereas as a tutor, I do have the ability to create a conversation. Now, the key here is we're gonna use something called the bulk rules. So we're gonna create a message. And we're gonna give the uh, we're going to click on bulk open new rule now because i've selected groups when i set the settings up i can choose which group gets this message in this case i'm only going to send a message to group a but you could set it to all participants or whatever and then the clever bit is i can include future members so i can set this up in advance and then um, as people get added in the future i can do so now the cutoff date is the date when the message stops going out. So if you know when the course is going to end, then you could set it to there. If you don't know, I'm just going to set it miles in the future. So effectively it will never end. So I don't end up having a situation where the course in three years time might still be running, but the cutoff date um, has been reached. So I give my mess message a subject. And then you give it a message. And you could put in as much information as you need, sort of um, whatever it is that you want. You could attach a file if it was relevant, but you don't have to. And then you click on send. Now what that's going to do, it won't happen instantly, but it will happen within the next few minutes. It's going to send a message to anybody who is in that group. In this case, I've got a test student in that group, but anybody who gets added in the future will then also get that message at the point when they are added. So if the person is being enrolled onto the course and they um, get added into the group, then they will get that message. Now, I'll just see if it's come through yet. So it's not come through just yet. It will come through in a few minutes. And when it does come through, the student will have the ability to reply to the mechanism. So this is how you've 
you've created this one-to-one -one conversation tool so they can't start a conversation but they can reply to the conversation um, that has been opened by the tutor so as I say it does take a few minutes that's why it's not come through just yet so I've waited a few minutes and the message has now appeared in the student account so this is my student screen I've logged in I can see I've got the message from the tutor and if I click on the message it gives the student the ability to reply and then they can send a message back to the tutor who can then reply through the same mechanism and this one-to-one -one conversation can take place but it's all taking place within the Moodle environment so it's nice and secure there is a record of it in case there's any accusations of uh, inappropriate conversations there is a complete record of everything that's taken place between the student and the tutor in this environment I'm Dave Ford if you wish to get in touch then please look at my contact details on the screen I'm based in the UK, but I work with organisations all over the globe, providing consultancy, training and resource development services, mainly in the areas of Moodle and Tatara.